Hey guys, what's up? KC here with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to display text on Trigger and how to get rid of the text on Trigger Exit. Super simple. Another quick and easy C Sharp tutorial. So we're going to need a Trigger object, which can be, as per usual, a cube. Do this, put it right there. Do that, put it over here. Stretch it out. Right? Yeah. And what we can do here, do that, is go to the FPS controller, which is just the standard controller that I got off of uh, the characters um, asset. Go to assets, import package, characters, or whatever character you have. If you have a canvas already, don't worry about this part. Go to UI and create a canvas. Then go to canvas, UI, text. We're gonna use uh, whichever text, let's use poop. Okay, that's that's what's happening. That's what we're doing. There, there, There's the, why is the canvas way over here? What's happening? I mean, it's way of whatever. Okay, there it is. Go to font size. Let's just press play to make sure that it's going to be on the camera here. There it is. Okay. We're we're in we're in business here. Let's let's uh, make this bigger. Let's make it huge. Fucking huge, like this big. Do that. Boom. Take and then we'll take the text and we're gonna center it. It's centered. See, boom, boom. Then, what we'll do is we'll make it bold. Click on that, and then we'll go to the font size and we'll enlarge it. Boom, now it's huge. Now we have this. Since we're at the text, let's go ahead and disable it, because we're gonna re-enable it on trigger enter. So now, let's create a new C Sharp script. Call it poop. Let's go into there. I like that. Let's do public. Just like in the last video, public game object. You can always send feedback through the help and feedback section of the Alexa app. Alexa, stop. Jesus, that scared me. That scared the shit out of me. Game but game object. Oof. Oof. UI object. Because that's going to be the text. Then we're using um, unit. We're using UI, so we have to uh, type in using Unity Engine um, dot UI like that. And then we're going to go to the void start right underneath the void start. And we're gonna do a void on trigger. Enter. Let's get rid of that. And let's move these over. Let's, let's do if, just like in the last video, other dot tag equals player. Do this. We are going to UI object. We're gonna have the UI object be set to true because we're gonna be inside the trigger and that's, we, that's when we want the text to pop up. So we're gonna do UI object, the same name as this, you know, the your object, um, set active, true. That easy. Now what we do is copy it and then put it in the void start, but we'll have it as false in the void start like that. Then we can do a on trigger exit so that when we exit it, it also goes away. You know. So void on trigger exit. Um take this because you're gonna want to be you're gonna want it to be set to false. 
just like that. So we have the public game object, which is the text, the UI object. We have the cube, you know, void on trigger enter that's going to be on the cube so that when we walk into the trigger, the UI object is going to be displayed. We exit the trigger, the UI object is going to be set to false. And let's just say, if you want the trigger object to be destroyed, you do just like in the last video, destroy cube after we exit it so the text can't be displayed at all anymore. But if you don't want that, then don't, you know, if you want it to be keep being displayed, um, the more times you enter it, then don't do destroy. Oh, it's not called cube. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, no, we. No, I'm I'm not sorry. Public game object. We need we need another public game object for the cube. Public game object cube. Or you can call it trigger. Doesn't matter because it's gonna be like the. We're just gonna call it cube because that's the cube that has this script on it that's gonna trigger all of this. And then when we exit it, the you know like I said before, the text is gonna shut off and the cube is gonna be destroyed. So we cannot have that text pop up anymore. Um, this looks good save all let's go to the cube oh it's got a save there we go. let's go to the cube let's put this on it let's put the text on it let's take the trigger object which is the cube right here and once we exit it it's gonna destroy I should say like you know in your game you're obviously not going to want to have the cube visible so go to mesh renderer and hit that but for it being destroyed we're going to want to see that so let's keep it on so we have the text not visible at all we walk into it boom i forgot to set its trigger make sure to always set the trigger object to trigger because I'm a giant goober. And let's, you know what, let's do something else right here. Copy, paste. Let's take this, let's blow it up. Let's go to, let's remove all the, that from it. Yeah, it doesn't need that script on it and it doesn't need to be set to trigger either. Let's make it black so we can see that text. We walk through this trigger. Boom! We're in the trigger right now. Okay, we exit it. The trigger is going to be destroyed. And the text will be gone. Now, if you just want that text just to stay on there each time you enter it, We remove the destroy. We save all. You can keep that public game object cube if you want to, but I suggest removing that. You know, I just didn't because I'm lazy right now. Let's hit play. Exit. Back. Exit. Back. Exit gone. Back. Exit gone. Back. Exit. It's gone. Now, like I said before, mesh render. Now it's invisible, but still, there it is. That's it for today's lesson. I've done two easy Unity C Sharp tutorials, and it's actually pretty fun. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any comments at all, leave it in the comment section of like, hey, I want to learn this, I want to learn that. Just let me know. Hit me up. Let me know. I think the next video that I'm going to do is going to be how to have an enemy like attack you, which is, uh, I don't see lots of videos on that on uh, YouTube unless it's extremely advanced. So I'll show you the easiest way to have like 
a zombie attack you and how you can kill that zombie basically so yeah peace out